What up, deeps? This is Double Dragon with no nonsense, no bullshit boss guys in every Pandaria raid. Whether you're tanking, healing, or DPS, I've got you covered. This is a three phase fight. Phase one. If you get hit by a beam attack, move away from the group. You're going to be dropping void zones if you get hit, so try and place them where no one would ordinarily stand. And you can avoid all damage with abilities like Divine Shield and Ice Block, just so you know. Here's your DPS priority list. If a player gets seemingly mind controlled, then burn them down ASAP. The little goopy ads should be taken down one at a time so as not to cause too much raid white damage. Also bearing in mind that killed goopy ads heal other nearby goopy ads for 40% health. Finally, the boss. Just burn the boss when you get a break in ad duty. Occasionally, you might get transformed into a yellow monster. When that happens, a new vehicle action bar will appear on your screen, replacing your default UI. It'll have four buttons labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. Here's your rotation, and this is very important, so try and memorize it. Spam 1 on the boss. Just spam, spam, spam. It's a debuff ability, and it helps your team. As for number 2, the latest DBM build has this voice that counts down from 5, you've probably heard it before. So after you hear it do the countdown, your yellow monster vehicle starts to cast an ability. You need to press 2 to interrupt this ability, right? It'll count down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, then OH GOD IT'S CASTING! If it gets the cast off, you are boned. It's exactly the same in LFR. Just press the 2 key. Never press it early, never press it late. Just wait for the cast bar to appear, then hit it. Third button, you won't need to push until the third phase, so just forget about it for now. The fourth button will show up when you reach 20% health. It's imperative you hit this as soon as it appears. Watch your health bar, and as soon as you reach 20%, press 4. It'll release you from the yellow monster vehicle, and you can go back to your normal rotation. Phase 2. Again, you may get turned into a yellow monster vehicle, only this time, Instead of spamming one of the boss, you'll be interrupting the, this big flamey dude with one. Bearing in mind that your one ability has a cooldown of six seconds, so spamming it like you did before, not a good idea. Just save it, because you're going to need it to interrupt the Amber Explosion ability, which has a 2.5 second cast time. And don't mistake the big flamey dude's Amber Explosion for Stomp. Just wait for the words Amber Explosion and press 1. Range DPS should stand kind of distant from the big flamey dude when you're not in the vehicle and all DPS should be on that same flamey dude. The boss will be taking no damage in this phase so as a general rule, when you see the big flamey dude, he becomes your new target. Phase 3 Go back to spamming 1 on the boss if you're in the yellow monster vehicle. If your group's DPS is high enough, then you'll just likely be burning the boss which means you need to stay alive in the vehicle. Just go around to the yellow void zones and press 3 to regain health and energy because if you run out of energy, you're going to die. If your DPS isn't high enough, then you might need to focus down one or two vehicles. It's your raid leader's call. And be sure to use Lust at the very start of this phase. Let's recap. Phase 1, spam keys 1 and 4, interrupt with 2, kill the vehicle targets, then the little ads, and then the boss. Phase 2, interrupt the amber explosion with key 1. Kill the big flamey dude. Phase 3, use key 3 if you need to live. And lust. That's it. Click the annotation you see on the screen for the boss you need to kill next. If you're a tank, click. If you're a DPS, click. If you're a healer, click. Subscribe and all future boss guides will come right to you. Leave comments about alternative strats. Like if you liked the video, dislike it. If you disliked it, that's what it's there for. Go for it.